hi guys welcome back to my channel i'm back with another video and in today's video i am going to be relaxing my hair so this is how my hair is currently looking um haven't touched it for like a week and i've just been wearing hats and it's hot and yeah this is how my hair is looking i haven't even combed it i tried to comb it last night but when i put on the picker my hair was breaking because i do have lots of growth going on that i need to retouch so unfortunately i couldn't find my normal relax that i use which is the dark and lovely moisture plus um i went to clicks i couldn't find it i went to discam i didn't find it so i decided on getting the rs1 and i was in so much rush that i didn't even look at the strength i got the extra strength one which i i've never used i normally use the regular so i hope my so i'm just fingers crossed that my hair doesn't fall off so i'm just gonna go ahead and mix the uh, relaxer and developer so today i'm going to relax and also trim my hair because i do want it to be short like shorter than the length i have now and also i want color i will color maybe like next week or sometime during the week but today is just gonna be relaxer trim and um mold i will mold my hair so that i can trim it nicely and i'm gonna take some vaseline and apply it around the edges around my edges and my ears And I'm just going to go ahead and start applying. I'm going to start with the back and the sides using my brush. So I really hope this is not too strong for my hair because I have like very fine hair. But I'm also like low key hoping that it will like relax my hair well because in the past like few times that I've used the extra moisture dark and lovely it hasn't really like gone like made my hair like bone straight which is kind of fine for a pixie cut because you do want a little bit of um, body like volume with your hair. But it's also nice when it's like bone straight, like it's breathable, especially like now in summer, it's really, really hot. And then here on top, I'm going to try to just apply it on the new growth, but it's always hard, especially with short hair. It's really, really hard to just focus on the new growth. And I'm also like not applying it directly to my scalp. I'm trying to just apply it on the new growth so that it has time to actually relax my hair before any tingling or irritation starts. So now I'm going to start like massaging it in, make sure everything is saturated. So now I'm going to go ahead and rinse my hair. I would use the neutralizing shampoos. It came with two. 
so i'm gonna use those two and then i will also use my normal moisturizing shampoo and then i will also use this replenishing conditioner that came with the pack so i'm back after rinsing my hair i also did deep condition and this is how it's looking it feels very very breathable i can actually like comb it now um the only thing that i'm kind of like annoyed <laughs> about but it's it's expected it my color is gone <laughs> my um black color is gone my hair went back to like the natural color i didn't use like a permanent color i only use the semi-permanent but yeah this is how my hair is looking i still have hair which is a good sign i just hope i don't have any like bald spots and to mold my hair i'm going to use the rl wrap set mousse the one that came with the relaxer And I'm gonna take some wrap strips and wrap my hair. So I am back now with my hair dry. I had to drive to Clicks to get hair color because the thinness on this hair is on another level and without the color, it's just worse. But it does look good. It's just, I like my hair black. So I'm just gonna brush the side bangs to the front and then taking my hair scissors, I'm going to start trimming here. Just making sure that everything is Right. and because i already have like the initial cut so now it's all about reducing the length so i'm just trimming this and then picking up the next section with the previous section so that everything kind of like stays the same length so just continue trimming the same
So for the back, I'm just going to use my clippers. I'm not going to take my whole setup with. I will come back and catch up with you guys um, when I apply the color. But the front here and the top is fine. So I'm just going to go to the bathroom and do the back. So I am back now after trimming my hair. And this is how everything is looking. And I did have a lot of breakage, especially at the back so this is how the bag is looking so now it's time to add some color i am using the kelville this is the one that i use all the time is the kelville in ebony black and i get it from clicks and this one is saying it's an improved formula so it's a semi-permanent color i do not use permanent colors especially like after relaxing i just feel like i it's not healthy to go ahead and put like more chemicals on your hair so i never use um permanent colors i only use semi-permanent this one is my favorite oh it's actually like a little bit thicker now so i'm just shaking it and i love that it comes like in an applicator bottle which makes it easy to apply so i'm just gonna go ahead and start applying it all over my hair definitely does give me like volume especially like now with like my hair um damaged and sparse this definitely help with the look of fuller head and this one is definitely a thicker formula now they've definitely improved it which is amazing it doesn't run at all So I'm done applying the color. I'm going to take my shower cap and put it on and I'm going to leave this for 30 minutes and then I'll go ahead and rinse. And I like to use this um, little shampoo and conditioner that came with the pack. I am back from rinsing off the dye and as you can see my hair is now darker and it definitely does look fuller. But again this is a semi-permanent color so it's not as... It's not as dark as like a permanent color and also like it does come up when you wash your hair. Yeah, now it's time to go ahead and mold this hair. And to mold my hair, I'm going to use the Design Essential Wrap Lotion. So like I said, I'm not going to curl my hair today. I'm just going to do like a nice mold, which I can keep for a few days. And I'm also going to do like little waves here in the front just to shape it.
so i'm back now with my hair dry and this is how it's looking everything is dry i'm going to apply some oil and i have the jamaican black custard oil um i haven't used this in a while and i thought it would help me with my hair because it really does work a lot especially with damaged hair and dry hair so I'm just gonna apply this all over my hair this is the final look i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did don't forget to thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i will see you guys on my next one bye